Okay, and hello everybody, and welcome to Awesome Gaming, uh, where we play all simulation games as real as possible, as real as the game will allow, I should say. But today I'm going to do something a little different and give you a quick tutorial on how to get one object from a one other map into your map in Farming Simulator 22. It's very basically simple. Uh, we're going to stick with trees today, but this does work with any object in the game. So what you need to need do is find yourself the map you're working with that you want to change. Um, I chose Bear Rock Logging. It's a really good map. So what we're going to do is we're going to download both your maps first, the one that you know you want to take some trees out of, and then the map that you originally want, or whichever one you have. Um, I always put them in a separate folder. Uh, it's called, I call this one Working Map. It's just a folder I'm working out of. Um, I'll stick both the maps into this folder from wherever my download directory is. I'll pull them out of there and put them in this folder so they're easy to work with. So what we're going to do is we have to extract both these maps first. I use WinRAR. Uh, they're seven zip. They all basically work the same. So I'm going to open this up and extract it. And that'll create that folder. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Well, we'll mark it. Maka, whatever they call that map. So we're going to extract that. And now we have, we have both these maps here. Now, this is an important step. Before you open this up, you have to create another folder. So you do new folder, and you can name this whatever you want, doesn't matter. I just always name it my stuff because it's going to be my trees and stuff that I put in there. So that's my directory where I'm going to be looking for the stuff at. So now you take. Now that you got this folder made, you want to double click on that and open this up. Now this maps right here, uh, whether it looks like this or it looks like this one, either way, you have to add this folder to, the, to that. This right here, you would put right inside this folder. Okay. Now on the other map, if your map shows up like this hallmark, a map does where it's just this, then just take this anyway and just put it right in there. Okay, makes sense? Okay, now what we'll do is we'll open up the bear rock log and we have our maps directory or folder. We'll take the my stuff folder, put it right in there. Then double click on that and you'll see it. It's right there. Now from this point, we're going to want the map i3d, which is this. It usually has this little yellow giant symbol next to it. Don't confuse it with sounds or something like that. It has to be the map and the i3d, i3d file format. That's the one we're after. Now you open that up. And if you get the latest version of Giants Editor, uh, you'll have it right here. And just hit OK and let that load up. OK. Now I want to move this to the side over here, get this a little better, easier to see, work with. OK, now this is the Bear, Bear Rock logging map. And you can see it's a great map. Thousands of trees on there, I'm sure. They're everywhere. It's a straight up logging map. And this is an easy one to show you on. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change one of these tree types. Not all of them. We just want to change one to birch to keep it still, to keep kind of a mix. Now you can change them all if you want, but we're just going to stick with one. And I think we're going to pick the number six pine, which is right over here. Pine stage six, they were the big ones. So we're going to trade and change all of those into birch. So let's do that. How do we do that? Okay, this map right here, this part editor, just minimize that. So it'll stay down here in your toolbar and this window will still be open. We'll just move that out of the way. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our Hamarka map. And this one you don't need nothing except just click and T. You can find this little yellow map i3D and open that up in the editor. Now both maps will be open at the same time. No worries about that. So wait for that to load up here. Hey, look at that. Right in the beginning we get the uh we get the birch tree. This back over here. Just so it's easy to work with. Now what we want to do is we want to take one of these birch and we want to put these birch in our map. And see as soon as you click on it in the scenic graph, it shows up birch. Big birch big. So how do we get this to the other map? Well, this is how right here. You go to file, you come down to export selection with files. Not export selection, not export all files, not import. 
export slugs with files. Click on that, and it'll give you this window right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is find the directory. Uh, I think I'm already here, but sometimes you won't be able to, this, this won't be ready. This will basically be out of the last editor you worked out of, if that makes sense. So you get to find that, you just go, I know it's on my desktop. The file in its working map is on my desktop. So I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to go to Bear Rock Logging because that's the map I want to import it to. Double click on that and now click on Maps and then My Stuff. That's the file, file folder we're after. Double click on that and you're there. It's maps, My Stuff. Now you copy this name to right here. That's all you have to do. Just copy it letter for letter and make sure you get the capital letters the same as well. So let's we'll type in Big Birch. And then hit save. And yes, and yes. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now you just come up to the corner and exit out. Don't save the map because you don't want to save any changes you may have made. And then this uh, file folders that you opened up earlier for a home markup, just close that out too. We're all done with the home markup map. Don't need it anymore. So now that you got that, reopen your Giants editor with your map in it, bare logging. And you will see this in the senior graph. And what we want to do, oops, it's that up here. Get back up there. Close this down as much as we can. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this tree, this pine stage six, into our birch. So how do we get our birch in here? Well, it's simple. You go to File. Now you go to Import. Click on that, and that folder will pop up. Big birch. Double click on it, and it's in your map. See, it just showed up here in the transform or in a Scene graph, it's right here. How do we get it over here? We said Control B and left click on your controller, and it'll bring that tree right to you, right, wherever your controller is pointed. And just click it, and it's on the map. So now that that's taken care of, we are going to trade these trade these up, all these pine for birch. Go into the go to Edit up here in the left hand corner. Go down to Replace. And this is where it's done. You choose your target tree, which is our number six pine, which is right here. Uh, make sure you always look here so you don't grab just a piece of the tree and you get one of these children out of the child directory. This is your parent group, and these are the children, basically. These are the little files that are in the big file. You want to make sure you're on this outside folder. And you hit load, and now your pine stage six will be the target. And we place them with. And we go click on the birch pink. Same thing here. Make sure you click the parent group, but not one of these. So, so our birch pink, hit load, and it'll load that. And then all you hit now is replace all. If you replace just one, it'll just replace that one tree. If you replace all, every number six pine on the map just turn into a big birch. And you can close that. So now we have a better variety up here, if you like the hardwood like I do. Now you can do this with anything, any any object on the map. Uh, say if you're in another map and you, you want to bring this tent, you can see it's right over here, garden tent. You copy that into the file folder, like I showed you how to copy Big Birch, and export it, bring it into your other map, same thing. Okay, and that's any any object on any map will work this way. So now that we got our birch in the map, how do we save it? Well. Go up here. Let's see if I can save a little bit first. Okay, I'll move this one up, but I don't know. Whatever. Go over to here up in the top left hand corner of your screen where it says Save I3D File. A little hard disk looking thing. Click on that. And down here in your left corner, it'll say uh, Exporting or something. Then when it's ready, it'll say it's ready. I know how long this takes, so I know it's already ready. Once it says it's ready down here in the corner, which you can't see on my screen for some reason, once it's ready, just go up here and exit out. That's all you got to do. Then you come back and it'll bring you back to this folder. Take everything here and compress it. And you should be good. Now you'll have your bare rock logging map. We'll have birch in it. Uh, there's another way to do this. Go in your maps, 
Uh, what I did was I copied all of this into the third folder and just repack that. And then it stays the same when you back all twice. But if you want to make that an actual zip file, oh, I should explain that. These folders right here with just the folders, they can only be played in single player games. Okay, these are great for when you're editing a map because you don't have to keep extracting. But once you're done extracting and you get the map to where you want it to be and you want it to be in multiplayer, that's where you have to make a zip file. Now this bare rock one, we just open that up, copy that, and just go to add to archive, hit zip, hit OK, and it'll have the same directory but with all the changes in it. And this is the map you put in your folder right here. None of this stuff. Okay, so hopefully that makes enough sense. But we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it open for in case you want to edit it some more. So now that you have your map, you'll take this and you will put it in your mod directory, which most people's mod directories are in their documents. If you go to my games, FS22, and mods, and there'll be a folder. You just put it right in here and you're good to go. I use a mod folder switcher, so my current one is on the test. So I would take this and I would put it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and then I paste it in. Uh, I already have one in there. Oh, I already put that in there because I already did it. So that one's good. I'll just cancel that. You take this and put it in your mod folder and then you're good to go. And then just start your game like normal. Okay, go to career and just hit a wherever. Go to bear rock logging menu. We'll have no mods in here this time. Start the game. Check and see if our birch trees made it all the way over here or not. Okay, she loaded there. And hit confirm, and there they are. Lots and lots of birch. See, simple as that. And you can cut all these. Uh, they act just like trees in the game. The seasons even work in these ones. So I know some maps you pull them out of and the trees won't change color in the uh, winter time. But these particular trees, they do. They work very well. Um, and you can like say you do that on any map. If you have a tree on a map that's not a birch or you just want to put a different one in, that's fine too. If you want to take the trees right off of the map you're on, Without having to import them in, you can do the same process. Just find and say, well, this tree on the map, you want to change. Yeah, yeah, of course, there's no other trees around here. But say you wanted to change this tree to wherever one of these other ones are. A little smaller tree, you wanted to make them all big. Uh, you can do that as well. So even if it's on the same map, you're on the process still works the same. It's just replace all. Just make sure your target path and your uh, execution path are the same as the tree you're trying to move so yeah that's it now we can enjoy a birch on this map or any other map you want to put it on as i said it works with everything uh, fence posts even it's it just every th object on the map that has an i3d it'll work with so that's it i uh, hope you learned something if you did even if you didn't uh, please throw the video a like uh, subscribe it doesn't cost nothing it helps the channel out greatly uh, especially with this channel, I'm just starting a new fresh channel because my old one there was copyright issues and I couldn't use that chat name anymore. So, pick this one and hopefully you guys get some value out of it. Uh, as I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a great day.